you know, one of the things you mentioned when we recorded this macro was you really need the font a little bit larger. And we can easily go in and make some minor changes to the macro. Okay. Um, if it becomes a huge thing, like let's say as you were typing, your finger tripped all over the place and you type festival and change backspace and fiesta, <laughs> you may just decide you want to re-record the thing. Okay. But if it's something simple like that, it's really easy to go in and make changes. All right. So we're going to go back to our view tab. All right. Let's see. Here. And come all the way to the right where the macros were right. and click on that drop down. But this time we're not recording, we want to view the macros. So we click there and there's your macro. Ah, it's right there. And we notice if you wanted to, if you didn't remember your keyboard shortcut, there's a run button there and you could run the macro. All right. We don't need to run it right now, but we do want to edit it. So we're going to click on that edit button to the right. And Ooh. this all changes. We're in what is called Visual Basic. Okay. And it's not as frightening as it looks. Okay. It looks a little different, but it's a, it's really very simple to look at here. Looks so, like a bunch of gibberish. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe until you take a closer look. For example, this green text here is the information you typed into the dialog box. Oh, yeah, there's your right keyboard right. shortcut. There's your description. There's your title. So those are just notes, okay. information for you. At the beginning of our macro we have information that just says this is what this macro is okay and then this is where it starts going and see there's where you typed in donut fiesta oh, yeah. ink and here's your font and your font size and so forth where it says false that means you just didn't choose those things font wise oh, okay okay yeah and sense. then you come on down and you can see where you chose the color and and various other things your background is the pattern and this last little section here is when you did the merge and center. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. And then it ends. All right. Now, back up here near the top, there's your font size, 16. What font size do you want? I meant to choose 20. All right. So just click in there and take out 16 and change it to 20. That's it? That's it. We need to save it now. Okay. And there's a save button up there. This little guy right uh -huh. here. And just right. go on and click the save. Macros are saved. All right. And then up on the toolbar within this window, we have an Excel button. Okay. All the way to the left, just under the word file. And if we click that, it'll take us back to our spreadsheet. All right. All right. So why don't you... Um, Let's clear what we have here. Do you remember how to clear everything, formats, contents, and everything out of a cell? Hmm, that is, uh, I'm not sure, clear, clear contents. There we okay. go. Okay, there you go. It's also on the home ribbon. Okay. Um, but see, that's clear contents. Go to the home ribbon and come over here to the editing area. Okay. And you see that clear there? Mm -hmm. Click on the drop down. Here you have a clear ah. all. It takes out formats and everything. So let, of course, what we've got left is format. So let's just clear the format. Sure. Perfect. There you go. Click in cell A1. All right. Run your macro. Control T. <gasps> there you go. It's bigger. And it's bigger. It ran it for you. Now, what if I forget Control T is mm -hmm. my shortcut? You know, it would really, I'm a visual person. Right. And I'm really kind of icon driven. And so it would be. Is there any way for me to somehow associate that mm -hmm. in a visual way? Definitely. First of all, of course, you can always go back to the View tab to the Macros area and see the macros. And okay. There was a Run button there, but there's a much easier way. Okay. We can actually add it to our Quick Access Toolbar. Oh, that would be great. Up so, here at the top. Up there at the top. So okay. when we're adding to the Quick Access Toolbar, what do we usually do? Ooh, either right click on something that we already have, but if we don't, then we've got to go into this uh, more commands. Right. So we've clicked on that drop down. We're choosing more commands. Right. So select that. Right and on the left side of the screen under quick access toolbar, we have popular commands. Click on the drop down and macros are in ah. the list. So there's our macro. Okay. You can select it and add it. And there it is. Now, here's the neat thing. If you leave it like that, it's going to show up like that little symbol. But well, let's say you have multiple macros. Okay. You can click the Modify button below as long as your macro is highlighted. So, like mm -hmm. that, and then Modify. And oh. you can choose whatever symbol you want for it. Okay. 
Well, there's all kinds of fun little things in here. Mm-hmm. Um, this Too bad there's of, not a donut. Is there a donut somewhere? I know. Wouldn't that be the, the best? Yeah. So this kind of looks like a title okay. right here. So I will pick that for my icon. And this this is what's going to show up here? That is, if you point to it, you know there's a definer. You know, right. So if you okay. wanted to take out the that. book seven part, you can yeah, do that. That looks better. And click OK. Ooh, I like it. Then click OK. And there it is. There you go. <gasps> there it is. That okay. works. I like it. That, that, to me, is something that I would do every single time I get into a new file. Wow. So that and that's really going to save you a lot of time. Really well.